Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerson.com, here to bring you your weekly love forecast for May 31st to June 6th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And um, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the day to day, then the overall, and then, of course, the advice. So stick with me till the end. Guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, all of my information is in the description box below. So I'm thinking about um, bringing out a new spread for like bi-weekly because um, I know a lot of you have been requesting in the comments that you wanted to have the uh, singles separated, right? Because all these are singles, couples, or anyone between or anyone in these love messages. So I'm thinking about for the bi-weekly separating both the couples and the singles separated out. Let me know what you think in the comments below, okay? All right, so let's jump right in. What's going on my Sagittarius' romantic love life for May 31st? to June 6th. What's going on my Sagittarius is a glove live for May 31st to June 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Cards I need to see. What is going on with my Sagittarius is love interest romantic glove live for May 31st to June 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Oops. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. And let's look at your oracle here, Sagittarius. What is going on? Well, my Sagittarius is romantic love life for May 31st, June 6th. Cards I need to see. Cards I need to see. Okay, let's throw these cards down and let's jump right in. Okay, one more card. Seven days. <laughs> okay. All right, so on the 31st, um, I feel like there's something that's going to be revealed about your situation uh, that will bring light and bring hope to it, okay, with the hope card. Because I do feel like you're having a lot of challenges on this day with the devil card energy. It could be done with the Capricorn, but there is some bondage, addiction, depression, procrastination going on here with this devil card energy, which is causing you some challenges on this day. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with, it feels a bit defensive. They feel like they have their wall up here, okay? Uh, I feel like they they feel like they're going to get wounded here or hurt in some way. On the first, children could be affecting your romantic love life. Now, when I say children, it could be actual children could be affecting your romantic love life. It could be a fresh start, a new opportunity. It could be somebody being immature. And interesting enough, there is a child in this card too. Six of Cups. So there's some reminiscing about the past, possibly about a fresh start, about a new opportunity, or children could be affecting your romantic love life because there's a child in that card on that day. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the first, is feeling stuck or stagnant here with the hangman energy. They're trying to see it from a new way and a new perspective. On the second, something to do with reunions here. So somebody from the past possibly could be affecting romantic love life. It does look like you're in the mode of like, hmm, I want to speak my truth here, but I'm going to do it in a very political way here with the Queen of Swords energy. And that's on the second. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the second, is feeling like, all right, I want something to come back around. I want something to be completed here. I want to feel accomplished here with Swirl Card energy. On the third, Friendships could be affecting your romantic love life here. And it does look like you're gaining that mental clarity here with this Ace of Swords energy. You're feeling mentally clear. You're feeling like, all right, I, I get it. I have that aha moment. Your love interest, the person you're dealing with on the third, is feeling like there's some kind of potential for some kind of long-term commitment here with this Ace of Pentacles energy. On the 14th, prosperity could be affecting your romantic love life. And actually, the Sun card, interesting enough, it does mean material abundance. It does mean luck. And it does mean happiness here. So it does look like this is going to be an, a very optimistic day for you. Very lucky day. Your love interest or the person that you're dealing with has the Knight of Swords energy. Something that they feel they want to move on fast or they want something cut away or cut out. Or they're, they're being very argumentative on this day. On the 5th, something to do with love is affecting your romantic love life. Or her spirit is letting you know that there's love here. And it does look like you're feeling victorious. You're getting that recognized victory here with the Six of Wands energy. And um, it's also something to do with a message or a letter or an official document here happening. Your love and the person you're dealing with on the fifth is wanting some kind of equal give and take where they're feeling very charitable here with the Six of Pentacles energy, but they want balance here around the situation. On the sixth, 
there's some kind of gift of abundance coming towards you even though you feel a bit defeated on this day you're like should i stand up and fight should i walk away that's that kind of energy you have on this day your love inch is the person you're dealing with has the four of wands energy there's something to do with marriage and long-term commitments here or stability and stableness all right so let's look at your numerology here sagittarius and we're going to work on your overall after that so let me just move these out of the way so bear with me for a second here all the names of the card decks are in the description box below so this week it looks like you have two sixes healing and recovery and love and some opportunity that's going to cause you some challenges around this or some kind of changes that are going to have to happen here okay so let us now do your overall sagittarius what's going on my sagittarius is romantic love life for me 31st of June 6th, Sagittarius Romantic Love Life for May 31st of June 6th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Sagittarius Romantic Love Life for May 31st, 2 to 6th. Sagittarius Six. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. 2 1st June 6th okay let's check this out okay so we had the Sun card energy as you know big luck happiness so anytime the Sun comes out everything's gonna be okay so and there is something that's recognized here and possibly something to do with romance there is a person that walked away physically or mentally here with the eight of cups energy okay so it looks like you do have luck on your side and there is something to do with happiness because of some kind of romance or something to do with something that's recognized about someone who walked away physically or mentally or maybe you walked away from something physically or mentally and this made you happy here with the sun card energy five is a challenge or change because of putting the work or effort into what makes you happy here with the sun card energy so what's a blockage soulmate connection and a choice being made with the heart here which is causing some confusion or cloudedness in your judgment because the lilies show me something to do with a long time or patient energy here. So there is a soulmate connection or choice being made here with the heart. Um, but there's a person that's not getting all the information or they feel like they're not seeing everything that needs to be seen here about the situation, which is causing them to say, okay, is this a wise decision? Or maybe I should be patient here two is a choice and three is working towards some kind of foundation what's going on in the foundation of the matter queen of wands aries sagittarius leo energy you're being patient when it comes to your passions you're trying to figure out what you want here or there's some somebody who finds you very sexy and very attractive and there is a wish and a hope here with the star card energy you're having optimism here about taking an action towards love and romance so i feel like even though all this is going on you're very optimistic about your romantic love life you're feeling very attractive very sexy and you're just ready to take an action towards love and romance and you're doing a lot of thinking contemplating about it you're being patient so what happened in the past there was some kind of message of love or a new path in love or potential love and there was there is there, there was some issues around not getting an equal give and take or feeling like something wasn't balanced about the situation pertaining to messages or news one is an opportunity six is healing and recovery and pages are potential what's going on at the head of the matter king of pentacles so it's like you're ready to make wise decisions and wise choices here with the king of pentacles about serious things about things of value because it's something that ended or stopped here with the death card energy or are you ready for some big changes here because of loyalty or friendliness or a friend here with the doll card energy nine is about wishes being fulfilled death the obviously death card is some kind of change something ending something stopping there what's gonna happen in the near future eight of cups so it looks like you are deciding to walk away physically or mentally here eight of cups energy because you have the courage the strength and the confidence here and the garden card energy shows me maybe because of a group of people because of family because of friends because we see the dog card there this gave you the courage and the strength here or something to do with the public so it's like you're making the choice to put the work or effort into it and you're gaining confidence and a courage here to do that okay so what is the influence involved through romantic love life you're ready for something ideal or there is an ideal situation here or there's a person that feels that you have all the tools that you need with the influence something ended or stopped here 
pertaining to this person is like, all right, I'm gonna have a missed opportunity. So because this is ideal situation, there's something that ended or stopped because someone felt like I'm gonna miss this opportunity. So there was a person that was like, I see, I see Sagittarius as a real big opportunity. I don't wanna miss out on it because I feel like they're an ideal partner for me. I feel like they're an ideal situation. Interesting. It is about putting the work and effort into that and four is about stability and stableness. Hmm. Or you're, you're being offered an opportunity and you don't want it because it's something to do with ending or stopping because you want something ideal. That's for some of you. What's going to be the outcome here? Empress. Love and abundance. She's also the mother of the Major Arcana. Friendship. Why is this cup this card coming out so much this week? All right. So this represents socializing, hanging out, friends. <laughs> Let's see what the last card is, which is causing some kind of heartache. Again, three card energy. We're going to have to clarify this. All right, so it's saying love and abundance and some kind of friendship or joy is causing some type of heartache here with the three of swords energy. Or there's a third party situation or more than one choice or option here. So let's clarify. Why is the Empress here? Someone's happiness here. Someone wants to be happy. And the Clover card represents some kind of risk or reconciliation. Okay, why is the Three of Cups here? Judgment again, reconciliation, a healing, a recovery. Store card represents some kind of change or improvement here. And again, the Sun card is coming out again. Wow, you have the Sun card again. What's the last card here? The High Priestess. Okay, let's examine this. So in the outcome here, it's saying that there is love and abundance or nurturing kind of energy but that empress card energy which is making you really happy and you feel that you have a little bit of luck maybe luck with the catch friendship or more than one choice or option is causing some kind of reconciliation and improvement and change there's heartache happening here or longing happening here because of your intuition or you feel like there's something secret here pertaining to this that needs to be revealed with the sun card energy and for some of you, there's more than one choice or option because there's three cards, three cards here. Wow, there's a lot going on here. There's a choice to put the work or effort into it and pertaining to stability and stableness. I know with the Sun card energy though, it's very optimistic. It's happiness, it's optimism, it's big luck that's on your side. I just want to re-clarify this Three of Swords energy. Give me a little bit more information about this Three of Swords energy. Give me a little bit more information about this Three of Swords energy. So still you're trying to heal and recover here with Six of Swords energy, which is causing some challenges there with the Devil card energy because there's confusion about choices and options with the Seven of Cups energy because of seeing things through a new way and a new perspective. Okay. All right. I get it. All right. Can I have some advice for my Sagittarius for the romantic love life? For May 31st to June 6th, can I have some advice for my Sagittarius for the romantic love life for May 31st to June 6th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So they're saying make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take. And I can see with the devil card energy, that could be procrastination there because you're still healing and recovering. That also could explain that judgment card energy. And obviously you're just not certain about things with the seven of cups energy. Friends could be influencing things here, which could help to cause the heartache or the procrastination around this. But obviously spirit said, make the effort here. Great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take. And I see the magician card is saying that there is an ideal situation and that, that you have all the tools that you need. And obviously if we look at the blockage, there's confusion about making a choice towards a soulmate connection or choice with the heart here and something to do with a long time or patient energy. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I will be releasing monthlies very soon, so stay tuned for that, as well as Do They Miss Me for the month of June, so stay tuned for that. Love you guys so much and have a great rest of your week and stay safe, guys.